Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I will be showing you guys what is new in iOS 4.2 Beta 2. Um, it just mainly has a couple of new features here. Um, nothing major, but if you'd like to see the major features in iOS 4.2 Beta for the iPad, check out the video in the description below um, showing the features of Beta 1, which includes basically all the new features like multitasking and stuff like that. So, just wanted to let you guys know, these are just little changes, and um, let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing is multitasking. There is a new animation switching from one app to the other. So let's just go ahead and launch Game Center here. Game Center is not new to Beta 2, but um, it is still cool. So as you can see, my name is AppOSX. If you guys want to add me, I'd appreciate it if you added me, or I mean, I wouldn't really care if you didn't but just go ahead and add me on game center and uh, we could try playing some games together unfortunately there are no games built for the iPad as of right now but let's go ahead and um, exit the app or let's go ahead and show you the new multitasking animation so if I double click the home button you get your app switcher and when we hit settings it has a brand new animation just like that so let's go back and to that app as you can see, instead of going like this or whatever, it kind of like flips and then goes like that. Um, whatever it is, it's definitely really cool animation and um, hopefully something that Apple builds in the later firmwares is the option to choose which animation you'd like. Um, I think it'd be pretty cool or even a jailbreak app um, that could do that would definitely be really cool. So if you're a jailbreak app developer, develop that app that allows you to customize the app animations between apps. So that is one major change in 4.2 Beta 2. Now let's go ahead and take a look at something in the App Store. So something that's in the App Store, um, you guys might have heard about this earlier this week, that in iTunes it uh, showed a badge saying if the game was uh, Game Center compatible or not. This is the iPhone version of Real Racing, um, but as you can see right there, let's go ahead and bring the camera in on there, it has a little uh, logo or badge, whatever you want to say, under it. Um, basically s explaining that it works with Game Center and stuff like that. So it's really cool if you guys if you guys are looking for games to play with friends or whatnot, that is the logo you guys want to look for. So let's go ahead and take a look at just one more thing. Um, this is actually a bug, but I thought I'd show it to you guys. If you guys try to go into your settings, general, and then hit sounds, it will basically, it won't work. It pretty much just sits here for about... 20 seconds until it crashes, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the app here. But that is just a bug. Other than that, iOS 4.2 opening folders, um, as you know you can create folders, seems a lot faster. It's a lot smoother. The animations with the uh, multitasking bar are definitely a lot smoother, and just the general OS um, has received great improvements from iOS 4. Point, or iOS 4.2 beta 1 to this beta right here. It definitely feels snappier, and it feels like you can now run more applications in the background. So definitely go ahead and check it out. Um, if you guys want to download it, download it. If Or if you're a developer, go ahead and download it. Um, like I said, this does work with the iPhone and iPod Touch. It does not feature the new animations, unfortunately, but you can download it to test it on your iPod or iPod, I mean iPod Touch or iPhone. So that's it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at Apposix. Add me on Game Center. And uh, thanks for watching.